Hi my angels, good morning. Today I am, um, basically I've just gotten ready. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and I have a car waiting for me outside. Cold Beauty, which is one of my favorite like websites ever. You guys already know that. But they've sent me a car and they're taking me somewhere today. They haven't really told me where they're taking me. It's a bit of a surprise. I have a feeling today is gonna be a really fun day. I can just feel it. You know when you can just feel something in your bones? That's literally what I'm feeling right now. It's literally boiling in the house in the morning so I can imagine today being quite hot but anyways the car is waiting outside so we're gonna get going and figure out what this surprise is and obviously I'm gonna take you guys all along with me I'm so excited got my bag ready um, and yeah we are gonna get going Hello. hi Hello. good thank you So I've just got here, I'm at like industrial estate, which makes me think this is maybe where cult beauty's like warehouse is, I don't know. But if that's the case, there's gonna be a whole lot of makeup in here, which I'm so excited about. I need to figure out how to actually get inside. So let me try and figure that out and then keep you guys updated as to what is actually going on. I was right guys, we are at the <laughs> Cult Beauty Warehouse. Well. I basically want to raid the place. <laughs> but um, I can't wait to show you guys around and see, and, um, show you exactly how everything works here. So, <gasps> exciting time. So I just got told that this is a new Cult Beauty Warehouse and their old warehouse used to be like this big. And now it's like, what, triple, quadruple? Five times the size. Five times the size and it's full of makeup. I'm so excited. Guys, I want you to meet Nikov. Hey. hey! So he is the... Director of Operations. Director of Operations. He started here... Three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago. How big was your team? Seven people. And now, it, like three years after, how big is your team? 120. I just spoke to these guys and I'm like, When is Tatcha coming to Call Beauty? We're going to make this happen, guys. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. <laughs> Oh my god guys, literally, this whole space is just full of makeup. <laughs> oh my god, and there's upstairs as well, look. There's all that upstairs. Wow, wow, wow. Sol de Janeiro, Bum Bum Cream, Huda. We've got Huda right here in a, in a box. <laughs> and they've literally just moved in like what five days ago so they're still trying to obviously get everything sorted and whatnot but this is pretty cool wow bye bye orders <laughs> i've never had a delivery come like this before this is gold right here <laughs> so this is deliveries in yeah, yeah. like good things. good goods in exactly this is the actual packing packing wow oh they're gonna have over a hundred benches and then upstairs? It's picking. Picking. Oh my god. This is where all the fun is going to happen. We're going upstairs where all the... Oops. Stuff and stuff. Nothing new there. Upstairs is where all of the orders are picked. That means everything's going to be out on shelves. We're going to see it all. Anyone who loves makeup, this is like a dream come true. It's just rows and rows and aisles and aisles of makeup. Yes! Welcome to my home, would not be able to work here because I would just get distracted. <laughs> I'd be like, well, this is nice. <laughs> I would end up swatching stuff. God, this is so cool. I've never seen so much makeup in my whole 
entire life. just raided the cult beauty warehouse just a few things there's some things that I already have and love and there's a lot of new things as well I'm one of those people whenever I buy anything new whether that's clothes makeup anything I have to go home and put it all on my face so we're gonna go home and we're gonna play with makeup and we're gonna try everything on we're gonna swatch things and I cannot wait because I feel like I haven't done this in a long time with the wedding happening and all of that things have been quite hectic but today I'm so excited to sit down and just try and play with makeup I've got the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder the baking powder in here I'm gonna try baking and attempt it because I'm not the biggest fan but I've heard really really good things about that powder so yeah we are done raiding the cult beauty warehouse <laughs> thank you guys <laughs> thank you for letting me raid <laughs> honestly this was like a beauty junkies like perfect day out and so thank you very much cult beauty for making my dreams come true and witnessing all this makeup in one place honestly it was just insane my car is almost on the way and um, they're gonna get going and then we get to try all the makeup on yay <laughs> just gone home and I have taken all my makeup off and I just had some lunch as well I had such an epic morning I had no idea that I was gonna be in a room full of that much makeup which was just insane I've never have ever seen anything like that before just very quickly tying my hair up because it is really warm today it's been hot for like so many weeks here in England um, I just wanted to do more of a kind of casual sit down kind of chatting about all the new makeup that I've got kind of haul and that's why I'm doing it in my living room and not upstairs because as soon as I put those lights on because it's already so hot I will literally boil to death so we're gonna keep it a little bit casual but before I get into all of the makeup I just wanted to let you guys know that cult beauty have a really amazing campaign going on at the moment and that is called the we are the makeup junkies campaign and as always because I love cult beauty and whenever I have worked with them they always offer all of my amazing followers a discount code so of course I had to share the discount code with you guys and it is Koshal Junkie and I'll leave it right here and all of the details below but it basically gives you 15% off when you spend £20 and above there are a few brand exclusions but I will leave all of that in the info box below and this is an exclusive code to all of my amazing internet family which is all of you guys so all you makeup junkies, hopefully this will get you really excited. Um, there are some amazing, amazing brands on Cult Beauty. It is by far my favourite website to shop on. I personally have been shopping on Cult Beauty since, I want to say like 2000 nine or 2010 so a very 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 long time and the fact that I actually get to work with them now is just insane and also it's just seeing that crazy warehouse of theirs like I can't believe they've grown so much and I got to see like this huge new warehouse that they're in and obviously got to bring back some amazing new products to try with you guys on screen so we are just gonna crack straight onto it actually before I do that I'm gonna show you some like skincare bits that I got the first thing I picked up is this soft clay rubber mask and it's by Lixa skin or Lixia skin I'm so excited to try this no doubt will I be trying this on Instagram live so that's the first thing I picked up and I have also been wanting a jade roller for like ever every single time I see one I'm always like oh I'm gonna get mine from cult beauty because they have I think two different versions they've got like the double ended version and then also a single ended version so where you only have one jade roller but this is really 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 good for massaging the skin maybe I'll do a video of like the different ways that you can use jade rollers if you guys would like to see that then let me know because I'm more than happy to do that so got myself finally a jade roller um, and then I picked up this Vintner's Daughter I think that's how you say it this is the active botanical serum for your face this I've heard really really amazing things about and it had really great reviews on uh, cult beauty so I had to get some of this I always have to smell skincare this smells so nice it smells very like fresh and 
organic, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I got that serum. And then I picked up a Sunday Riley Tidal face cream. This I'm actually going to put on before we put all the makeup on. And again, heard so many amazing things about this. But ooh, look at this. It's kind of like a greeny colour. And we're just going to put some of this on straight from the, uh, this lid thing. And then just get that all onto my face. Ooh, it's really, really lightweight. Kind of smells like cucumbers, almost. Oh, that feels really, really nice. Not forgetting the neck area. Just instantly, my skin just looks so nice and moisturized and glowy. I'm gonna let that sink in for a couple of minutes um, while I show you guys two products that I got from a brand called Therapy. This one here is called the Calm Balm. And it's a little balm here and it's kind of smells like I think lavender but it's supposed to help like when you're really stressed out to put it on like your pulse point so I'd probably put it on like my temples my like wrists and probably like just like under my nose a little bit or maybe on my chest but this is going to come into great use especially the times when I am a little bit stressed out I actually should have got it before the wedding but it's okay because um I can use it on the days when I need a uh, extra calming down and then this next item I'm really excited about so this is the therapy inner light crystal clear crystals so these are crystal clear smelling salts I wanted to make sure I was saying the right thing so that's why I'm reading from the back here in here you you have amethyst and quartz crystals and they're fortified with a reiki scattered within the salts and reiki is a form of energy healing and um, amethyst is a remarkable stone for spirituality and contentment known for its metaphysical abilities to still the mind and inspire a meditative state something which I really 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 want to do more is to meditate um because I kind of feel like I can't switch off so hopefully this will really help me um and it says on here that you basically take off the lid and inhale deeply three to five times or place on your desk with the lid open for continued support and then you obviously close the lid to make sure that they stay fresh I'm just going to actually try this out very quickly That has gone like really into my like head. I can kind of feel it. That's really, really nice. I'm definitely gonna use this more. I, it's a shame I don't really have like a proper workspace, like a desk, um, cause the house is such a tip. I've got like clothes at the back there <laughs> that I'm wearing on the weekend and all sorts. So now that we've got all of the non makeup things out of the way, we are gonna crack straight into the makeup. So some of the stuff that I'm gonna be using is stuff that I already have and love and use all the time, as well as new things which I picked up when I was at the Cult Beauty Warehouse, which I'm super, super thankful for. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the primer. <laughs> this is the Ordinary Primer. I actually ran out of the first one that I got. I love this so much. It's got a really nice silicone feel to it. This is actually the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. This is probably one of my favorite, like, affordable primers, just the Ordinary in general has such an affordable price point to it they even have foundations in their range they're like five or six pounds which are amazing but uh the primer is definitely something that i've used and loved ever since i got it so i had to pick up another one because i'd run out of my last one and it's quite like a thick feel not like heavy thick but it's just got like a really rich texture to it which i love Next up is another favourite of mine, that is the By Terry Cellular Rose CC Serum. This is the kind of like bronzy shade, I believe it's called Sunny Flash. It gives me a really nice bronzy look, I've been using this for a while now. I used it a lot when I got married as well and it just gives me such a nice like healthy glow to my skin. I could actually probably put this on with a bit of concealer, mascara, lip balm and be good to go. But this is what it looks like. It just gives me a really nice kind of glow to my skin. And then for foundation, we are going to be using the Ordinary Foundation. This is the Serum Foundation in the shade 2.1Y. It's probably a little bit yellow for me. Um, but we are going to brighten everything up with our concealer, which we'll put on in a sec. So I'm going to get a couple of pumps of this on to the back of my hand. This is a very kind of like watery, runny formula but it is so, so nice on the skin. Actually, because I've got a bit of a tan, it looks quite all right. And of course, how could I forget my Beauty Blender? This is like one of my holy grail products. It's probably one of the products that really, really, really got me into like 
being really obsessed with my base because this makes your foundation look insane. I find that this just blends everything out onto the skin so well. Everything looks really, really nice and seamless. I basically can't do my makeup without my Beauty Blender. But one thing that I did pick up, which I've been waiting for Beauty Blender to come out with, is this Beauty Blender. It's like a case almost. It's called, ah! It's called the Blender Defender. I'm actually going to open this up so I can see exactly how I'm going to use it. In a nutshell, this is the cutest case to put the blender into. So whenever you're traveling, your blender is safe from everything. And I love that it's silicone as well. Like it's quite like a squidgy. I thought it would be a hard case, but I quite like that it's nice and soft. So I picked this up and I'm going to be using that because I'm traveling this weekend um, to go to a wedding reception, which I'm so excited about. I'm just giving this one last nice blend to make sure everything is looking really nice and seamless on the skin. I'm actually also gonna put it onto my eyelids as well because I don't have any eye primer down here because I am downstairs. <laughs> I'm feeling lazy to go upstairs. I actually love just how lightweight this foundation is. I can't believe I don't use this more often. I feel like I do need to get a shade which is a little bit lighter because this is you looking teeny weeny weeny bit too yellow on me. But now we're going to move on to concealer. And the concealer I'm going to use is this Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. I'm not too sure which shade it is but I will leave it down below in the info box. But I'm going to get this on underneath my eyes in the usual areas that I like to apply it. And it's generally all the areas that I like to brighten and bring forward. Now time to blend all of this away. And again, this concealer is super, super lightweight. But it's got a really nice, decent amount of like coverage to it as well. It's not like a thick coverage, if you know what I mean. It's quite a like lightweight coverage. I really, really, really like the way the base is looking. Moving on to a product that I have been dying to get my hands on, and that is the brand new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. The shade that I have here is Pound Cake. It's quite a light shade, which I quite like underneath my eyes i like it to be quite like brightening it's got a really cool like spongy area here rather than like your traditional like plastic sieve this has got like a fabric sieve and i also have the brush as well i've just opened up the brush this is the face bake and a blend brush and we are going to try and attempt to bake I um, haven't baked in a very long time because I find that it's quite drying underneath my eyes but I feel like this is a super 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 finely milled powder. I'm actually going to just try it on my hand just to see how finely milled. Wow that is really finely milled. It literally disappeared into my hand and correct me if I'm wrong does this part of my hand look more blurred than this part? Is that just my eyes or is that actually the powder? That's really quite crazy but I'm going to get this on to underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna kind of tap it in. I'm not gonna do like a thick layer of it. I'm just gonna do like as even of a layer as I possibly can. I've seen Huda baking her eyebrows as well, which I think is really interesting. Maybe I should try it in a video. But I've just got like a really, really thin layer of this on the areas that we concealed. I used the kind of like slanted edge for that. I'm just now gonna go in straight in with the other end and just kind of dust that away. Wow, on camera, that looks so nice. And to be quite fair, in real life as well, it looks really, really nice. It's completely like mattified that area but it doesn't look dry and that is a big deal for me. I'm not the biggest fan of baking. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more like powder, just dust it underneath to see if it does get cakey or anything. But no, it actually looks and feels so nice on the skin. It doesn't look heavy at all. I'm actually really quite impressed, wow. I was genuinely not expecting that for a baking powder, but I suppose you don't have to bake with this powder, you can just use it as a setting powder, so you can kind of dust it in the areas where you kind of want it. So I 
really, really, really like this so far. It will be interesting to see what it looks like with like a flash test um, to see whether or not it has any flashback. But right now, it looks really good. I'm really, really pleased with the way that that's uh, looking. Next up, we are going to bronze. And I've got the ABH bronzer right here. I love the tone of this bronzer because it's not too warm and it's not too cool. That's like my favourite kind of bronzer to go for. This is in the shade Rich Amber. And we are just going to start bronzing. Considering I haven't set the areas of the foundation, this is going on really well and it's not tugging in any areas of my face, which is always a good sign. I'm just going to put this on the usual areas that I like to bronze. So far I am so happy with the way that the base has turned out. I really, really, really like what I'm seeing here. I am going to add some blush. And the blush I'm going to use is also an ABH one. I've been wanting to try the blushes and the bronzers for a very, very, very long time. Um, this one in particular is the shade Pool Party. And the reason why I picked this one is because I really like the name of it. The shade I think I'm going to go in with is this one right here. It's kind of like a peachy morph colour, which is like my go-to kind of blush shade. So we're just going to add some of that onto the cheeks. You really do not need a lot of it. I love how it just gives me a really nice healthy glow to the cheeks. Cute! <sighs> I really should have done this the other way around, <laughs> but I have a really, really, really cool product here next. This is the Fasali Jelly Beam. This is in the shade Glazed. I have seen this all over social media. I'm trying to get it open right now. <laughs> I cannot wait to get onto my face because I've just seen so many amazing videos of this. And it's definitely a cult product because it is just so innovative and it's just so different. That's what I love about cult beauty. They always have products on there which are just either hard to get a hold of in the UK or they're just really cult products for like one reason or another. If you've not seen this before, it's a jelly highlighter. It just looks really cool. There's actually some on the lid which I'm probably going to go ahead and use. I've got a lot on my finger so let's swatch it first. And that is one heck of a highlight. This is just, wow. That wasn't even like a crazy, crazy amount, but I could totally put this all over my hand. And it dries quite like matte, if you know what I mean. Like it's not greasy. Hmm, it's going to be really interesting. Right, I think I am just going to go ahead and apply it with my finger on the tops of my cheeks. And maybe on the other side, we'll apply it with a beauty blender to see if it makes any difference. I rarely apply highlight with my fingers because I feel like I just never have any control. <laughs> do you know what? I I do have a powder highlight to put on top but this kind of doesn't need it because it dries like and sets to like a really nice powdery finish. That's so beautiful. Even this with like no makeup on would look amazing. Other side of my face I'm going to grab some with a beauty blender. See if that, oh wow, that is intense with a beauty blender. It's got such a nice glowy finish. Just quickly adding it to the bridge of my nose, maybe the top of my cupid's bow area. That is beautiful. I don't know whether you guys can see, but that glow is so stunning. So far, the base products I'm really happy with. Let me get this closed <laughs> before it goes all over the place. And this stuff will not budge, like this bit on my hand is like not going anywhere. Which is actually pretty good because especially if you're going to wear this like with minimal, minimal makeup, you know it's going to last and it's not going to like slip and slide off your face. So, base is pretty much done. I'm just going to make sure that my eyelids are set with some more powder because I totally forgot to do that. One thing I forgot to say is this powder has a like oody kind of scent, kind of similar to the foundation, the Huda Beauty foundation, but it's not as strong. I actually quite like the slight scent to it. One thing I did forget to add is my favourite, favourite, favourite contour powder and it's the Kevin Aucoin contour powder. It's actually called the Sculpting Powder. <laughs> but it's a really beautiful kind of cool tone. I'm just going to add that to the back of my bronzer area just to add a little bit more shadow. So the base is completely done now and I very quickly filled in my brows as well. We are going to move on to eyes now and... One thing that I saw on Cult Beauty website was this palette right here. It is a glitter eyeshadow palette. It's actually from Bleach London and it's called 
the Glitterati palette and it looks like this. And I think we're just going to go ahead and swatch all of the shades because I just want to get all of them on my face. But I want to pick like the one that I want to use. So we're going to start off from this shade right here. It's literally a pressed glitter. I thought it might be maybe like a like creamy glitter. But it's actually a pressed, pressed glitter. I don't have any tissues here. I need to go get them right now. This is the best part of like buying new makeup and that is the swatching. So this, I don't know if you can see. So this is the first. Ah! This is the first row. Just how stunning are these shades? And these are the last few shades. How stunning is this shade right here? Oh my God. It is like a rainbow silver shade. I have no idea which one I want to get on to my face, but the palette that I have that I want to try out is the ABH Soft Glam Palette. So this is what it looks like, and it has such neutral, like, soft glam tones in there. And I kind of want to get this color on my lid, but then this one is so stunning as well. Oh my god, guys, look at this. I tried to just wipe it off my arm, and... If this isn't one of the most beautiful things that you've seen in your entire life. Ah! My battery totally ran out, but it's okay. I had another one on the go. Um, I am going to... I'm going to get is this shade right here called Orange Soda on to my crease. Then I'm going to get a mixture of Burnt Orange and Rustic into my crease as well. I'm grabbing this shade right here, which is called Dusty Rose, and I'm going to put that on all over the eyelid. Some of the shades are quite powdery in the pan, but the colour payoff is stunning. I think I'm going to have to take this shade right here because it is like more of like the neutral tone. I definitely want to use this for some more eyeshadow looks, but... We're gonna get this one for now. I just need to find a brush. The official name for this shade is Bleached. And it's a really stunning like gunmetal brown shade. I've actually got the Queen of Hungry Mist right here. This is from the brand Omorovic Omorovitska. I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. It's probably one of their most kind of cult products. So I'm just spraying my brush with that. Picking up some glitter. And I'm gonna apply it to the center of the eye first. There's not that much fallout of glitter, which is good, good news, but it is genuinely a stunning glitter. You know what, just to be a little bit extra, I'm going to add the shade Bruised Violet, which is this one, which is that stunning, like, silvery, like, all the colours you can think of in one glitter shade. And I'm going to add that in to the mix of things and, like, kind of create my own glitter shade oh my god i think i just took this whole glitter shade to a whole new level Ugh, it just looks so 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 stunning we are going to go and darken the inner and outer corner and i'm going to use the shade cypress umber which is this one right here this one has a little bit more fallout than the other shades blend those edges out Love, 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 love it. So, very, very, very quickly, I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. I think I'm going to use Rustic right here. I feel like these two have the most fallout out of all the other shades. But I also feel like with certain brushes, it has more of a fallout than others. Because this one didn't get much fallout. I am still loving the under eye powder so, so, so much so far. Now that the eyeshadow is all done, we're going to move on to mascara. And the mascara that I picked up is this By Terry Mascara. It's called the Double Effect Mascara, and it's got a twist brush in it. And I actually used this on a shoot, and I loved the way that my eyelashes turned out. So it looks like this when you first open it up, but then when you twist the lid, it twists the brush. So I'm going to use it curved <laughs> and I'm going to get this on to my upper and lower lashes. 
And there we have mascara done. We're going to move on to lips next. And I'm going to use an oldie but a goodie. And that is my soft matte lip cream in the shade Abu Dhabi. Because the eyes are quite like glam and intense. I wanted to make sure I was wearing like a nude lip. So we're going to get this on to the lips. And do you know what? I love that although you hear like cult beauty and you think everything on the website is going to be quite expensive. I love that they have like a mixture of affordable, medium, high-end, like all kinds of brands on there. I'm almost done with all of the makeup that I've got. The next thing I'm gonna do is pop some lashes on. These are the Huda Beauty Noel lashes. You guys know that the Samantha style is my favorite, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. And these are almost like a double layered lash, but I wanted to try something a little bit different, something out of my comfort zone. And maybe I'll fall in love with this style. So this is Noel right here quite spiky and fluttery and the glue that I'm going to use is also the Huda Beauty Lash Glue. I love this stuff. It is very, very strong. Your lashes are not going to budge, which is what I love about this. So this is my like go-to lash glue of the moment for when I want my eyelashes to like stay on all day and not ping off from like the corners or anything like that. It's like super, super, super good. So I'm just going to quickly get both of these lashes on and then we're just going to set our face and then we're done. Okay, eyelashes are on and they are such like party dramatic eyelashes. They were really easy to put on and I didn't have to trim them either, which is always good, especially when you're in a hurry and you've taken out a new pair of lashes. Like that is definitely something we like and obviously the glue I love already and now we are gonna set our face I'm gonna use the Queen of Hungry Mist again I love the spray of this it's such a long spray like when I spray it it goes on for quite a while I really like that but I'm just gonna go ahead and start spraying my face it's such a light mist I could keep that going oh and it smells like a spa Mmm, that's really, really, really nice. I love the way this makeup turned out. The eyeshadow was a little bit powdery in certain shades, but other than that, I'm really, really, really happy with the way that my makeup has turned out. I had so much fun filming this. I feel like I want to do more of these whenever I get, like, new makeup and just putting it all on my face, you know? I find it really, like, therapeutic and fun to play with makeup, so maybe I will do more of these. Let me know if you would like to see more of these. Don't forget to check out the 15% off code. Everything will be in the info box below. A massive, massive, massive thank you to Cult Beauty for partnering up with me for this video. You guys are amazing, and thank you so much for my surprise in the morning. I literally cannot get over everything like this whole day has been such a dream for a makeup junkie like me and thank you for giving all of my makeup junkie followers a 15% discount code you guys are amazing and so all of you guys watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video kind of like a vlog style casual chit chat video but yeah that is all for me for now if I have missed anything at all, it'll be in the info box below. I'm going to list some of my favourite brands, which are also on Cult Beauty as well, so you guys can check that out. And all of the details for the 15% off the makeup at Cult Beauty will be in the info box as well. So please don't forget to check that out. That is all for me for now. And yeah, I hopefully will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!